When you screenshot something on your iPhone, the camera only captures what's visible on the screen. But what if you want to take a snapshot of what you can't see? It could be an entire web page or document or the menu you're viewing and want to send to a friend. If you need to capture these kinds of screenshots, the process is slightly different. In this video, I'll walk you through the process and show you how easy it is. Thanks so much for joining me on Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you've been finding value in these videos, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. A scrolling screenshot extends beyond the borders of your screen. You no longer have to take multiple screenshots to complete the capture. Instead, your iPhone can capture and stitch these shots together in one tall image. Here's how easy it is. As long as you're running iOS 14 or newer, you don't need third-party apps, although you may want to add them later on down the line. Apple has the function baked right in to the built-in screenshot tool. The only catch is that it supports Apple apps and some third-party apps like Google Chrome. On your iPhone or iPad, you're going to take a screenshot as you normally would. So if you're using an iPhone with Face ID, you will push and hold the power button and the volume up button to take your screenshot. And if you're using a iPhone or iPad with a home button, you'll push the power button and home button simultaneously to take your screenshot. I'm going to capture a screenshot of the Cheesecake Factory's dessert menu by pushing the power button and volume up button. And when I do, you'll see the screenshot image down in the lower left corner. I'm going to tap on that and open it up. You'll see that on the right hand side, there's the option to grab the whole page. Go ahead and tap on that. And on the right hand side, you'll see the scanned images of the whole page. You can take a look at each of those images by dragging this white um, image down the screen and you'll be able to see all of the images that the screenshot captured. Once you're finished, you will tap done. You can mark this uh, photo up just like you would any screenshot. You can crop it. You can add uh, text to it, whatever you want to do. When you're finished, you'll go ahead and tap on done. Once I tap on done, I'll have an option to save the PDF to files or to delete the screenshot. If you want to save this for later to send it to somebody, uh, you can do that by just tapping on Save PDF to Files. It will open the Files app on your phone. You can add it to any of the folders that you have created, or you can create a new folder. And I'll go ahead and create a new folder, and I'll just call it PDF Screenshots. And now I'll tap on done. My folder has been created and now I'll tap on save. And that screenshot has been saved to the PDF file folder. To locate that PDF that we saved of the screenshot, you'll open the files app, which is the white icon with the blue folder. And the easiest way to do it is to search for that folder. So if I start typing in PDF, you'll see that PDF screenshots appears. I'll tap on that to open. And then here is the PDF screenshot that we saved of the Cheesecake Factory dessert menu. The iPhone scrolling screenshot tool is pretty basic. So if you're looking for something more advanced, come into the App Store on your iPhone or iPad search for screenshot stitching and scroll through and take a look at some of the apps that are available. The iPhone doesn't seem to be able to take screenshots of messages in the message app. So if you're looking for something like that, you'll need to go to a third party app. 
Let me know in the comments section if you found this video useful. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.